good is having a cup of tea. We slept, I slept so well. The bed was so comfortable. It was nice and firm, the mattress. It's just what I like. And we've woken up to sunshine. I've literally just got up. I can't even hear properly. <laughs> just put my eye drops in. Off. I'll flip the camera around to a slightly better view than my time. It's down. <laughs> that for a welcome to Yorkshire sky. A couple of horses just in the field over there. Well, isn't that amazing? And these doors open up and there is, there's, there's glass here because it can't fall out. Isn't that amazing? I'll show you the full kind of for you so you can get a sense of where we are. So, on the first floor, that's our little table there. There's another flat next door, that's their table, but I don't think anyone's in there. And then there's another one at the end. And the stables are below us. So this is the, all the paddocks and everything, and at the front is the yard. Which I'll show you on the way out. Oh, a lovely way to start the day. Just having my cup of tea and a bit of breakfast, don't judge me. I'm having a slice of cold pizza. I love cold pizza. Watching the birds outside. And it occurred to me that I didn't mention yesterday, in our excitement and my tiredness when we arrived, that just as we were coming up the road, about two minutes away from here, when we were really close to arriving, we saw an owl. I don't know what type of owl it was, but it was absolutely huge and it was white. Um, I'm gonna Google what type of owls look like what, because I don't know anything about them. And we saw it swooping low over the field and then right out over the car. It was amazing, I've never seen an owl like that before. Oh, it was so cool. I need to wake up. I need to wake up before I start vlogging. <laughs> New rule. Wake up before you vlog. I'm gonna I've got you balanced on top of the car so I can show you my outfit. Oh, there's a horse. Anyway, that's my first dress from probably my first and last from um what's it called stitch fix i had a really good experience with them with my first stitch fix box i really liked it and i kept i think two or three things and then my second box i put i wanted tops and that i didn't like animal print and i got about four pairs of shorts one of which was animal print so i thought yeah i wasn't sure about that Anyway, really happy with this dress. It's the first time I've got to wear it because it's about 21 degrees today. What a difference a few hundred miles makes. Right, let's go to York. Are we ready? Yes. Yeah. What are you eating already? Ah, <laughs> oh, cereal bars. Sponsor us. <laughs> Breakfast of champions. Rubbish train went past, it was only like one carriage. <laughs> Yes! Well, this is cute. Right. The Merchant's Coffee House. We just got off the park and ride. We decided last minute that we would do park and ride. So we parked at, what was it called? Winston Bar? Win Winston Bar? Park and ride. Because they had space for vehicles with uh, um, high roofs, roof boxes. And jumped on the bus, which took about 10 minutes. Cost a tenner return for all of us. Phoebe was free. 
and we're going to do some shopping and do some sightseeing. stop for lunch. I'm going to have to keep this very brief because of the music in the background but we've stopped and we're going to get a drink and we've got some Korean food coming and Dan's getting something from the York Roast Company. So we have got a Korean corn dog with Korean ketchup, chips and I've got some vegetable gyozas. Phoebe's got chicken strips with Wait, I don't Korean barbecue sauce. And Lilia's got chicken and vegetable gyozas and it was a long long wait for Muzu. Oh my but it looks worth it. That's not ketchup. So this is Betty's, world famous tea room. The queue is out the door and around the corner. So I'm not queuing. So no, not into queuing. It looks pretty though. Maybe we'll come back when it's not high season. Yes. Yes. The only problem with city visiting is going to public toilets. Yeah, that was okay. an unpleasant experience. We just became criminals. <laughs> yeah, it was 40p a wee. But the barrier's open for so long, we got two E's for the price of one. <laughs> uh, but it wasn't worth 40p, it wasn't clean and it was a bit disturbing. This is amazing. This That's very cute. I like that. I oh, is that beautiful? Oh. It's about philosophy. I read it and I loved it. Is there more upstairs? It's like literature and poetry and stuff. Sensing sensibility. Oh, oh it's lovely. Jet 
from Shakespeare. I can't see anything. It's there behind you. <laughs> I like that glass, just saying. Did you just say that you liked the glass? I liked the glass. <laughs> We've been to the pub, it was lovely. And now we are going back to. What's it called? The Society of Alchemists. This is... <laughs> Nobody okay. saw. We're going back to the Society of Alchemists. Well as long as it fits the um, Because it Lydia fine. had her heart set on some perfume and she thought she'd come back at the end of the day and she's still got her heart set on it, so that's where we're going now. And she's worried that the five minute walk is going to take us over an hour and it'll close. <laughs> So we're going back to that glorious shop which I loved. So, and I think that'll be our last stop. Yeah. Even though Phoebe wants to stay in York and go back to the pub for dinner because the burgers looked amazing. I wish we'd gone there for lunch because it was really, really nice. But we'll come back. So yeah, and then we're gonna go and jump back on the bus back to the park and ride and head back. And I think we're gonna probably get another takeaway for dinner because it's our last night on holiday and Dan's treating us. Yeah. He's talking about fish and chips, so we'll see how it goes. Yeah, they're on the park. Oh, yeah, they want it. Park and ride it on my Snapchat. Park and ride. Right, let's cows drive everywhere, lock around everywhere, like that, right next to the road. <laughs> <laughs> so we were going to get fish and chips but all the fish and chip shops were closed on a Monday so we ended up just getting whatever we fancy from Tesco. The girls have pasta with sauce, Dan's got microwave meal which is pork, no, beef and potatoes. Bourbon and beef with mashed, pulled bourbon and beef and mashed potato. Pulled bourbon and beef and mashed potato and I've got a very simple chicken Thai curry which is one of my favourite things. This is a Thai red curry. Smells delicious, never eat ready meals normally, but it'll do for tonight. We've got quite limited um, utilities here because it is, I think it is just a place for a couple of nights. So we were quite- It's lovely. Limited. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's lovely. Yeah. But um, we, we were quite limited in like pans and pots and things. So, but we've done well. Microwave does a lot, doesn't it? So I'm gonna have this and then we're gonna play some of these games that are provided. Looking forward to that. Mm. And to go with our meal, we just saw a deer. Well, it wasn't quick enough, but there was a deer leaping about over here. That was so exciting.
morning. One last look at the view. Here we go. Oh, you can't see it very well. Can you? There we go. Lovely sunny morning. It's really warm. It's not what we've been used to. And we're on our way out. Everything's packed. Everything's tidy. Everyone's had a wee. Dan's just clunking about with the recycling. We don't know where to put it, so we're just going to find a, a supermarket. Do you want? Oh, shall I go first? Yes. Hang on, while I navigate the stairs. We just need to put the key in the key box. Are you doing that or am I? Um, it's the coat I just on. noticed, look at the horse themed hooks. There we go. Okay, so on our way out, we saw our next door neighbour this morning who's in the other apartment. He's here cycling. He was off out on his bike. It's a lovely place to go cycling uh, and we're heading home today the car is packed up although i'm not quite sure how we managed it we worked out that uh, i think the girls have between them have got more toiletries and makeup than they've got anything else next time we come away we're just going to give them one bag and say anything that doesn't fit in there is not coming say goodbye to the horses goodbye horses There's a few dogs watching us suspiciously from the main house, which is beautiful. And we're off. Flip flops in hand. Off home, back to Kent. And I think we're all really excited to get home. Very much looking forward to being in my own bed tonight. Yeah, me too. And I'm going to have a bath in my own bath. Oh. You as don't realise how much you love your own house until you're not there for yeah, as comfortable as the beds have been this holiday. Yeah, very it's comfy. It's not my own bed. Yeah, nothing's quite like your own bed, is it? But I have to say, particularly here, the mattress was lovely and firm, which I really like. So we were very comfortable. Obviously, I had to take my own bedding. The girls are really, really helping with the packing there, aren't you, Phoebe? side-eye from the teen, nearly. Right, I'm going to stop rabbiting and get in the car. No makeup on. Mm -hmm. oh. home first thing we did was come and find all the animals so we haven't seen next door's cat we have been shouting for her we've got two very happy froglets i'll try not to drop my camera in the pond but there are two little froglets here Hello. very happy in the pond and we have Runner beans or broad beans, I can't remember what they are. <laughs> We've got very lovely looking black um, tomatoes growing. The carrots are all coming up. We've got green beans over there. Not many more tomatoes, but it's good. And looky here. Hello girls, you're getting all excited. A very healthy looking Peggy Sue, a very grumpy looking Hey Hey, magnificent looking. And look at Cloudy, she's had her week of antibiotics, our neighbours looked after her beautifully, she's looking so much better. Her comb's upright, happy chookers. Oh, what's going on? You're chatting away. Hey! Hey Hey! <laughs> <laughs> I 
no sign of the cat, but I'm sure hopefully she'll turn up if she forgives us for abandoning her. Oh, and it's pouring with rain, which is perfect because it means all we need to do is get everything in the house and get cozy. Oh, got lots of interesting post. What's this? Oh, something from Canada. Oh, oh, another Simply Crochet magazine. Now, my mum got me this two years ago for my birthday for a year. And she swears it was only a year she got me, but I'm still getting it. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Just got that post. All the windows have been cleaned. That means they'll be round for their money. Right, so we get the car unpacked and I'm, I'll stop distracting myself. Where is Mia? <laughs> Where's the cat? Look who we found! Hello! Is she purring or is she angry? She's she purring. <laughs> she looks oh. so mad. Did we abandon you? <laughs> oh, she must have heard us calling for her. <laughs> oh. Up she goes for cuddles. <laughs> oh, I've got a bit, a bit of a dodgy camera set up here. You're balanced on top of a load of stuff, but I'm sure you are absolutely dying to know what I got in the post. So I've got my thing to tell me I need to make an appointment to get a water meter, which is very exciting. And I've got what looks like here to be my next instalment in my yarn advent from my lovely friend Suzanne at Green Lumpkin Yarn. I've been buying this um, as the year goes on. So this is numbers uh, 13, 14 and 15. So I've got a little Christmas bag upstairs that I'm putting these in ready to open during Vlogmas. Very excited about those. Smell nice. Some minty smelling in there. It might be my imagination. And I also got, there was a little book shaped envelope and I thought, did I order a book? I can't remember that. But then I remembered that um, Charlotte at Books and Bargains, she's a booktuber, she's got a lovely booktube tubing channel and she also talks about um, living with chronic illness and, and also living as a carer. She cares for her, uh, an elderly member of her family. And uh, a lot of the stuff she reads really appeals to me. And she had finished How to Die Famous and I had said, oh, I'd, I'd love to read that, that'd be great. And she said, well, I'm not keeping it. Do you want me to pass it on to you? So she's popped How to Die Famous in the post uh, for me by Benjamin Dean. And I know that I'll read this and then Lilia will want to read it afterwards. I have to read it first because Lilia annotates all her books and keeps them. So I want to read it before she does that. I might take it with me. I'm going away for three days to Spain with two of my best friends um, later in September. I've already got a couple of books lined up, but I might take this. This seems like perfect by the pool reading to me. Can you tell I'm absolutely exhausted? I did not sleep well last night. I think it's something to do with night before long travel. I woke up at three and had a thumping headache. Um, I didn't get back to sleep till about half past five, so I'm very tired. Anyway, she put a lovely card in of some socks. She said she thought that would appeal to me, and it does as a knitter. <laughs> Love that. That's so cute. I'd probably use that as the bookmark. That's what I like to do. Uh, yes, yeah, so I've got that. And then I've got Simply Crochet, so I thought we'd have a quick look at what the uh, front cover looks like. I don't know why I'm still getting this. I was only supposed to get it for a year. No idea. I can't find anything anywhere about my subscription details. Ooh, the dump for the recycling there. Oh, what have we got here? A granny square colour theory. Oh, there's a colour wheel. Well, that's handy. I've got a colour wheel in my, my back of one of my sketchbooks. It's always handy to have these. Oh, I love that. And then there's a little, uh, a little thing about using it there. Well, I like that a lot. I shall enjoy having a little flick through that. And then I've got a year of granny squares, a little supplement here. 52 original motif patterns. Make one for every week of the year. Well, that's lovely. I might, I probably won't keep this. This bit will probably go to the charity shop. And if I ever do want it, I get it with my Readly subscription anyway. I do like that cherry one. That's very cute. And let's have a look at the front cover. Okay, so we've got a, a kind of chunky granny square vest. Sometimes the cover makes me go, ooh, I can't wait to make that. And sometimes the cover makes me go, 
okay. <laughs> I'm not sure I'd wear a chunky granny square vest, but I do like the colours they've used in that. And there'll be a lot more patterns in here which I'm going to enjoy. So I am probably going to read this when I get in the bath in a minute. And then I've got a green envelope that's come from Canada. From Jackie. Oh, that's so cute. So she's written me a lovely, lovely card. Um, just, you know, really, really lovely words to say thank you for the videos and everything. And she sent me a little knitting Highland Koo pin. This is adorable. I actually have one of these and I really struggled to know which bag to put it on. So now I can have it on more than one bag because quite frankly, a Highland Koo knitting socks needs to be on more than one project bag. I'm sure you'll agree. In fact, where's it? Oh no, I've bought my... My little project bag that I'm using at the moment would be perfect for this. I'm going to pop it on there. Thank you, Jackie. That is so cute. And that's by the Clever Clove. And she does the most gorgeous enamel pins and illustrations. I think I follow her on Instagram. I'll pop that there so I can make a note of that. And yes, I feel quite pleased with that. That was quite fun. I've got two little things from the postie saying that I've missed some parcels. Uh, so I'll go and pick those up tomorrow, I think. The cat's upstairs now, lying on Phoebe's bed, absolutely loving the attention. We're pretty much unpacked. I'm in a bit of disarray, but that's fine. Uh, I'm going to go and run a bath and enjoy soaking in it. And then I'm going to enjoy sinking into my own bed. Clean sheets. Fresh on. Clean me, fresh out of the bath. And I think I'm going to sleep very well tonight. So thank you so much for joining us on our little adventures. Uh, I don't know how many vlogs this is going to end up being in the series. Uh, but thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed our trips to the Highlands, our road trips and our little jaunt into Yorkshire and got some inspiration for places to visit. I will link everywhere we stayed and everywhere we went underneath in all the videos in the series and uh, if I miss anything just drop me a comment and let me know what have you been up to have you been away for the summer months uh, have you been away for have you been away for the summer anywhere have you had any little weekend breaks getaways staycations if it's winter where you are are you doing wintery breaks and things so I'm gonna stop talking because I'm not making any sense because I am deliriously tired I will see you again in the, the either in the next vlog. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon.